So generally speaking in Call of Duty, when we get bigger updates, I'm talking about things like season three reloaded or season three, whenever we get like a title update. Generally speaking, what happens is data miners go into the game and find out a bunch of stuff that is in the game files, but is not yet released. That was no different with season three reloaded. However, some of the surprises this time take a little bit more explanation. However, what we do get out of this information is potentially what could be coming within season four. This includes new weapons, a new war zone map, but not the one you're actually thinking about. It gets much more confusing than that. And that is what we're gonna be talking about today. The season four leaks that have come out of the season three reloaded update. There's a lot to go over here, but before we do, let me first tell you about today's video sponsor. Remember back in the day when you'd wake up on a Saturday morning, turn on cartoons, pour yourself a bowl of cereal and just enjoy. Well, now that you've gotten older, you probably realize that there is a lot of sugar in cereals, but that is why today's video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is essentially cereal reinvented. Their variety pack comes in four delicious flavors, including cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. Personally, fruity is my favorite, just brings back some good childhood memories. So Magic Spoon is cereal that's a little more wholesome and way higher quality. And if you're trying to up the protein in your diet, Magic Spoon has 13 to 14 grams of protein, only four to five net grams of carbs, and zero sugar. And personally, you guys have probably noticed over the last year, I've lost a bunch of weight and I've been doing keto. and this cereal is keto friendly. It is gluten free. It is soy free. It is grain free. So you want to try something new for breakfast or have a delicious midnight snack. You can click the link down in the description or scan the QR code on screen. Go to magicspoon.com slash ink or use code ink at checkout and you can save $5 off of your order. Also, Magic Spoon is so confident with their product that they back themselves up with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. So enjoy your cereal and thank you, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring the video. So this all actually started out back at season three. When it first came out, people found some files within Warzone that codenamed a map Vondel. Now, we did some research for this and essentially found out that Vondel takes place in the Netherlands, specifically in Amsterdam, very similar to the mission that we saw within the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. So we put two and two together and figured, hey, we are probably getting a new Warzone map that takes place in Amsterdam. Now, season three reloaded is where we started to get more information about this because at one point, Charlie Intel comes out and says Vondel is not the map that we are going to be getting in the fall of 2023 or in December. In other words, when the next big iteration of Warzone comes out alongside the next Call of Duty. That is not what Vondel is. It is going to be happening much before that. Now, we don't know when that is. There's speculation that it could be happening within season four, but other than that, we don't really know. However, based off of other leaks, we can kind of figure out what this map actually is. If it's not the map that is coming out in fall of 2023, what exactly is it? Well, recently, more files have been found within Warzone 2 and Modern Modern Warfare 2 in regards to Rebirth Island. As far as this, these files are not coming to the game. A lot of people said Rebirth Island is coming back. It's what everyone has asked for. That's what the code name Vondel is. Unfortunately, it appears that that is not the case. It appears as though those files are in conjunction with Call of Duty Mobile. So if you play that, th that's probably where you're getting some Rebirth Island action. Then as far as the big map for Warzone goes, in other words, El Mazra, it appears as though that one is going to be around for a while too. Recently in season three reloaded, we saw the sandstorm start to move in. And then when they implemented the tin, the Tatman pack with promotional images from that, we can see a completely different downtown. It looks like a sandstorm has hit and it has changed the map completely. So I think that is more so what we can expect to see in the large map in the coming seasons until the new Call of Duty comes out. On top of that, for El Mazra, there's been some data mined files for a night version of the map to come with it as well. This would make a lot of sense with a lot of the things that they have been adding in DMZ for the Koshi complex, including night vision goggles and a flashlight. Hence, if they add a night map into El Mazra, we could very well see that. My guess for that, it would, it would be happening around Haunting of Verdance time, aka Halloween time. So that leaves us with Vondel coming out before fall of 2023, most likely not being a large map. Therefore, it is going to be another small map, something like Ashika Island or Rebirth Island sized, but probably taking place within the Netherlands. It's also rumored that the next big map that is to come out within Warzone 2 is going to come out in fall of 2023. 
2023 and it is going to be the los almas map taking place in mexico like we saw again within the campaign of modern warfare 2. so expect more information on vondel really really soon expect it to be a small map and expect it maybe season 4 season 4 reloaded at least that's what the leaks are saying so then where things get a little bit more confusing is when it comes to characters and weapons so as far as what we have for characters i'm willing to bet that hadir is going to be the season four reloaded character when they add the next section of the raid my guess is you're going to be able to play as hadir and then when you complete the raid you will probably unlock hadir just based off of the cutscenes that we saw from the season three or episode three of the raids this season now, as far as the main character for season four, I have no idea who this could be. I'm very interested to see where they go with this story-wise moving forward. We got Valera, we got Alejandro this season. I have no idea what they're going with that moving forward. So I'm curious to see what they do with that. And then we have our weapons. So as far as these goes, we have a lot within the game files as far as weapons goes, and we're just gonna list them up. But the two new ones that came with season three reloaded include the buzzsaw and the ax. The buzzsaw you can see in the episode three of the raid, the ax not yet out. But as far as the rest of the weapons, we have the SIG MCX Spear, we have the Hellion, which is essentially the FAMAS, the APC-45, the Tavor TS-12, the WA-2000, which is def definitely interesting to me, taking me back to the original Modern Warfare 2, the Staccato 2011, the Maliuk, which is similar to the Ram 7 from Modern Warfare 2019, the APC-9, the Kama, which is a melee weapon, Kali Sticks, and Sword. So all of these are in the game files, and we can probably expect about four to five weapons per season. At least that is what we have expected to see in the last little while. Now, the other thing that we can expect moving forward is there's only a couple seasons left within Modern Warfare 2. And with the rumored announcement date of Modern Warfare 3 happening in August, somehow we are going to start to see a tie-in with the Modern Warfare 2 current story and what is going to happen in the next Call of Duty game because it is rumored to be Modern Warfare 3, which means the stories are going to have to tie together. So with the rumored Los Almas map that will be happening with the next Call of Duty game in Warzone 2, I think we're going to expect to see a lot more from Alejandro and Valeria and their story moving forward into the next Modern Warfare game. Also, I'm sure Ghost is going to be a very big part of that. And of course, as we know, based off of the end of Modern Warfare 2, Makarov as well. I think that's going to be pretty much the final announcement with the last raid that they add into the game before the next call of duty game that is when we are going to be introduced to makarov and then boom we'll get a trailer for modern warfare 3 it'll involve makarov and that'll kind of be the big thing moving forward so that's what we can expect to see moving forward over the coming weeks regarding season four i'm very curious what's going on with that warzone map and then of course we're going to be getting some multiplayer and all of that stuff sprinkled in as well so stay tuned to the channel if you're not subscribed already make sure you do so turn notifications on if you enjoyed the video hit that like button and as always thank you so much for watching and until next time Peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this too.